Well, a local high school student is once again making a sizable donation to a local homeless shelter. Earlier today, Notre Dame senior Delaney Gallagher dropping off this year's Long John's for St. John's donation to that Green Bay homeless shelter. Delaney began this project three years ago, collecting winter gear for the guests at St. John's. And she joins us now to learn more about this and to say that this has been wildly successful would probably be an understatement. How much stuff are you did you drop off today? I have dropped off 500 donations this 500. morning. Okay. Yes, and that is only a total that only is a part of the total of the 3,000 donations that have been collected so far past over the three past years. Really? Okay. So, how does this work? So you have your drop-off spots to collect stuff, and then you, you you told me earlier you periodically drop stuff off during the year. So today's, while it's large, 500, how would that compare to some of the other just one-day drop-offs that you've had at the shelter? Yeah, so as my buckets fill up at some of my different donation locations, then I will just count them and then I drop them off at the shelter. And okay. so sometimes I'll drop off 50 donations, sometimes it'll be 10, but I just want to get the donations to the guests of the shelter as soon as possible mm -hmm. so that I can give them warmth as soon as possible. Okay, so but 500, that's a, that's a big one in one yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, it sure. definitely has added up between some of my different locations have been doing amazing with donations this year. So how did this all start for you? So I heard in 2020, October 2020, that there was a need for socks at the homeless shelter. And okay. so I decided to reach out. And then to my surprise, I was redirected towards an even larger need for long underwear. Okay. So hence the name Long John's for St. John's. Which works out really well. So when you went to, and this, you did this all on your own when you started. So you, I'm sure you told your family about it, your friends. Yes. What was their reaction? Um, they're like, good for you. Like, yeah. good for making a difference. Like. I don't know how big of a thing this will turn out to be, but I'm like, I just want to make a difference in people's lives. Like, even if I only am able to help out 50 people, let's say, I just want to know that I'm helping people. And it obviously grew so much larger than only helping 50 people. So now when they talk about it, what's their reaction to it? Because like you said, we don't know how big this is going to be. Well, the answer is, it's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, um, I think it's just shocked a lot of people. And I just, I really hope to inspire others that, even a high schooler can make this big of a difference in someone's lives. And if it's something as simple as winter clothes, it will show the guests of St. John's that our community cares about them. And I think that's such an important message to be sending. So October of 2020, I'm going to try and do math here on the fly. You were a freshman? Sophomore. A sophomore. Yes. Okay. So you're a sophomore. You come up with this on your own. When you heard about it, you wanted to help, like you said. So when you went to St. John's and said, I'm going to do this, what was their reaction? They're like, Good, good for you. Like, we appreciate you trying to make a difference. And then they're just like, we actually don't need socks as much as you heard we do. So I think that was just, I think it was just a really big shift of like, are people going to donate long underwear? That's almost like an odd thing to ask for, but it just, it exploded into a fundraiser. So it worked. Has it become easier as you go year in and year out to collect the items because people might be either more aware of it or you're better at getting the word out as you learn how these things work as they go along? Um, I would say so because okay. each year it just the word spreads further and further and then a lot of times I am able to have already established um, relationships with donation drop-off sure. locations in the past so then just to say hey I would love to do this again that's a lot of easier of a setup to have um, created. Did you create a website or a Facebook page that allows people to go, okay, here's a drop-off location, I can, I can bring stuff here? Yes, we have a website, longjohnsforstjohns.org, and then we also have a Facebook and Instagram page, which is at longjohnsforstjohns. Okay, and the social media, we understand in your age group, is, it's, that's it. I mean, that's the way to get the <laughs> word out, right? So have you been able to enlist the help of your peers with this project? Um, I definitely have. Um, my high school, Notre Dame Academy, mm -hmm. we do a drive for Catholic Schools Week, and now um, that just wrapped up recently, and then I'm going to be doing a drive as well through Lent for like an almsgiving project. So I feel like that's a really great way that I'm able to get my peers involved. And then um, I just, a lot of times I'll have friends like share the word that sure. like um, something's happening at like an event. So that's really great too. Terrific. All right, so you're a high school senior, so yes. college is next in, in your future. You told me you were not sure where, but yes. do you have plans for how you are going to uh, run this regardless of where you are next year, even if it's out of town? Yes. Um, I am definitely still in the works of trying to figure out where yeah. this will t go in the future. Um, if I stay close to home, I would love to continue to be the leader of the project. 
Um, but I'm also slightly looking to see if maybe there's an underclassman or someone who Terrific. is just as passionate as I am who would be willing to somewhat take it over. Terrific. Well, Delaney, thanks so much for sharing the time, yes. and thank you for what you do. Yes, thank you for having me today.